How to disassemble a large projection TV. Brought to you by Robot Trooper. Please subscribe to my channel. Do you have a large screen projection TV that is taking up space and you don't know how to get rid of it for free or next to free? This guide will give you ideas on how to break down and disassemble a projection TV into smaller components for transporting them at a landfill or recycling. Preparation First, move the TV where you can get dirty and make a mess. I used the living room at first to remove the heaviest parts to make it easier to move. I used my garage as the final disassembling area. Get your toolbox to start opening up the TV case and remove components like large circuit boards. For the Toshiba 50H82, there were small slotted lag screws at first. For screws, use a cordless drill as there may be many to remove. Beware of any loose hardware like screws or debris flying while you work. Especially when you get to the part you use a sledgehammer. Wear safety glasses for this project. Remove back panel. Look for the easiest and logical area to start dismantling the TV. I started the work behind because I noticed a panel that can be opened up. For my TV it accessed a large main circuit board. Unscrew the bolts or screws and remove the panel. Disconnect power cord. The power cord was not accessible with the back panel in the way. With the panel removed, I noticed the power cord was connected to the main board. I disconnected and trashed the cord. Loosen main printed circuit board or PCB. Find any screws that fasten the main board to the base of TV. Unscrew all of them until the main board is loose. Once the board is loose, disconnect the cable connectors. Disconnect any cables and wires from PCB. Note several cables and wires connected to the main board. Some connectors seem impossible to remove, so I just, outright cut them. You can just cut them with wire cutters or scissor. Put PCB aside. After separating the cables from the board, you can put it aside and start piling the pieces in a place that is safe from kids and animals. The parts can have sharp edges. Remove front panel. For the next step, I opened up the front bottom panel. I had to pry this cover from the side with a screwdriver. Once I got one area loose, I was able to work my way in separating the panel from the TV. Remove middle panel. There was another panel in the middle to access the RGB projectors. Unscrew and remove this cover and expose the projection system and associated circuit boards. Remove front screen. Part 1. Remove the RGB projectors from the top. The large front screen is in the way and has to be removed. Ensure the large plastic piece holding the screen is unscrewed from the bottom. This large screen slides up for removal. There are four hooks that hold the screen in place. Remove front screen. Part 2. Grab the plastic piece from the bottom and lift up. The large screen is bulky but not heavy. Put the screen aside and out of the way. Inside you will see a large mirror on back of the TV. Unscrew RGB projector. Locate the screws that are holding the red green blue RGB projector assembly from the top. Unscrew the projection system and ensure no wires are connected to the rest of the TV. If there are any connected wires, detach or cut. Remove RGB projector assembly. The RGB projector assembly was the heaviest piece other than the large TV body. Put this piece in a box because there are many sharp edges that could hurt you. Put the box and the projector assembly with the pile of TV parts. Remove speakers. The left and right speakers are held with four screws each side. Remove the speakers to lighten the TV. Smash the housing. Even with the main circuit board, front screen, RGB projection assembly and speakers removed, the hollowed out TV is still heavy and very bulky to put in a small truck. However, the TV is lighter for moving. You can now carry the TV shell in a big truck or van and dump it. 
You also have the option of disassembling the TV body even further to transport the pieces in a small SUV or car. The problem with the rest of the Toshiba 50H82 TV is that there are no other areas to unscrew. The remaining pieces are glued together. Brute force will be needed to break the rest but there is a large glass mirror to deal with. The mirror slides out upward but the top of the TV is glued and in the way. I took a large heavy duty hammer to separate the left and right sides from the TV. I used a small sledgehammer to get the job done. Remove Miro. After removing the top, I was able to slide the large mirror out and put it aside. Warning, this is glass. Be cautious when handling. Breaking housing down even more. I started removing the left side and right side with the hammer. After removing a few more odd particle board pieces, all that was left is a piece that looks like a cabinet or table on wheels. Recycling ideas. After breaking down the wooden pieces even more, you can neatly stack the pieces in the vehicle and transport to your local landfill. If you desire, scrap wood can be reused for making furniture. The husk of the TV's cabinet can be converted to a table or cabinet. Final thoughts? With HD TVs relatively cheap, why would anyone want an old projection TV that is outdated? Goodbye, big screen projection TV. You serve the purpose well but newer technology has taken over. I mean some new TVs do not even carry the old RCA component or S-Video connectors anymore. HDMI connectors have taken over. Makes me wonder what the next 10 years will bring with regards to television tech. This Toshiba 50H8250 inch rear projection TV had sentimental value. I purchased this TV around 2002 after my second kid was born. It was great for entertaining everyone. Ten years later, the TV was obsolete. I was not able to play any console games like Nintendo Wii and Xbox 360 anymore. If it had problems it would cost approximately $100 just to have a technician troubleshoot.